Welcome to Fabulous Lake Tahoe, your local's guide to the very best of America's year-round playground. I'm Jack Durst, and I'm here at Hot August Nights 2013 in the parking lot of the Montblou Casino Resort. We've got a lot of amazing classic cars and classic car owners out here at the Montblou today, and I'm going to show you all of them. First, check out a statement from the organizers of the event. Well, good morning, everyone. I'm Tony Marini, the executive director of Hot August Nights, and welcome to Tahoe South in the Mont Blue parking lot. Once again, this is our third year up here, and uh, as you can see behind us, a lot of fun cars, great entertainment today, and uh, it's a good way to kick off our big event in downtown Reno. Hi, I'm Dan Schultz. Uh, I'm from Petaluma, California. This is my 1970 Chevelle. I've had it for about eight years. I mean, this is my third year coming up to the uh, Hot August Nights in Tahoe. I have a great time every time we come up here. The car's got a 350 in it with a turbo 400, pretty much. I haven't done much to it since I bought it. It was already painted, but I did some stuff under the engine. Um, and uh, I just kind of go to car shows with my friends. They all have hot rods and cars, and we just have a good time. I'm Curtis McLaughlin. I live in uh, North Lake Tahoe. Uh, I'm a, I've got six cars, and this car is one of the best cars I've got because I don't have to polish it anymore. But I built the car out of all the extra parts I had in the garage, and it was my tribute to being 18, having no money and just parts, just like we were when we were 18. So, everything you see on this car uh, was in the garage, except for the body, and I found the body. And then I put a new floor in it, I put a whole new row cage in the thing, and I left it just as it was, because if I fixed one thing, I had to fix everything, and I'm not fixing nothing. So, this is my therapy. It's a 55 Chevy 210 Gasser. I had two in high school, and I couldn't afford to paint them either. So, that's why it is like it is, but I did all the graphics, and I built the car to go drag racing and to drive on the street. I'm Gaither, I'm from Scapoose, Oregon. This is a 1934 Ford Cabriolet. Uh, we drove it down here from, uh, from Scapoose, just outside of Portland, stopping in uh, Grants Pass for a little cruise in last weekend. Now we're here, we're going on to uh, Reno for hot August nights next week and then after that we're going to Bonneville to watch the cars run at the uh, at, at the track at Bonneville. I spent uh, about four years working on this car. I, uh, I took over a project, an unfinished project, four years ago and uh, after I retired this has been my my job. So we did all, most of the work myself. I, I did everything except uh, do the paint and the uh, the upholstery and make the top. That was, I did all the body work myself, all the frame and stuff like that. Hi, my name's Kevin. We're with Hot Rods by Stith and Legends of Nitro. We're up here in beautiful South Lake Tahoe at the Hot August Nights Car Show. And as you can see, we have a full line of t-shirts, hats, and all type of women's apparel. Just having a great time hanging out, looking at cars, and meeting people. Hi, my name's Dave. I built this 23 Ford. It's two fiberglass bodies, reproduction scale model bodies cut and grafted. It's a home built frame, actually the whole thing scratch built. Uh, a lot of fun, I got about 20,000 miles on it. Hi, my name's Gordon and this is my this is my girlfriend. I bought this car back in the 70s and I have drove it for 3,000 miles and replaced everything twice but it's still stock and looking as original to me. I've had it painted twice, green both times, and I did the motor recently. I had the balanced 351 Cleveland. That's the specialty of this car with the motor. And then the regular Mustang Coupe is uh, nothing fancy, but I only paid 500 bucks back in 1979. How's it going? I'm Jim French. I'm from Sacramento, California, and I'm here at Hot August Nights in uh, Tahoe. And this is a 30 Model A, 
I bought it and uh, did a lot of work myself, repainted it. It was a project that was partially done and I finished it up. It's got a 383 stroker Chevy motor in it and it's, uh, I painted it with this rattle cans, satin black, and I did all the hand uh, redneck art on it myself. Yeah, my name is Bill Powell. I'm from uh, Anna, Texas, which is north of Dallas. Uh, we drove up from uh, up here about 1,700 miles. The car is a 1956 Crown Victoria Ford with uh, a 302 high performance roller engine and a, a AOD automatic transmission. Completely restored car. Oh, I'm Jack Youngblood from Pottsboro, Texas, which is a little bit north of Dallas. And I've got a 57 Oldsmobile. We drove from Texas up here in it. It's been upgraded to modern train, drive train and stuff, and nice riding. Yep. Love coming up here. Been here five years in a row, playing on six. Hi, my name is Brenda Ashby. I'm from Marietta, Georgia. This is my car, a 1960 Corvette. Um, my husband has the sickness of cars, and so I, I finally reached the decision might, if you can't lick them, you might as well join them. So I call, jokingly call this the white trash of all the cars he owns, um, but technically I own all of them as it goes. But we started from the ground up and had this built, and a gentleman by the name of Mike Walker in Macon, Illinois, did the work, and he did a great job. Lots of comments. It's a beautiful car. We love it, and it's fun to drive. Hi, my name's Pete Davies. Uh, this is my 63 Chevy pickup. Uh, I got it, it was pretty much a complete rust bucket. Took it all the way down to the bare frame, brought it all the way back up. Everything on this car was done at home, in the garage, except for the upholstery on the front seat and the sun visors. Uh, everything was done, I say, by family members and by myself at home. Uh, it's been on the road now for about 10 years starting to show a little bit of signs of wear, but uh, other than that, it's been a good truck. It's a lot of fun to drive. It's a lot of fun to come to these events, meet a lot of really great people. Hi, my name is Tony. I am, uh, my company or business is Got Balls, and we sell car antenna balls. I have all sports related balls. I have uh, different styles of the antenna ball. Some of them come with a string, just in case you don't have an antenna, you can hang it from the mirror. Um, so I have all baseball, basketball, football, pro teams. I also have uh, seatbelt covers that cover your uh, shoulder for your seatbelt. I have car flags and um, I have lanyards. Hi, I'm Bruce Beamer. I'm the owner of this 1969 Mustang Mach 1. I'm the original owner of the car. I bought it, took delivery of it May 2nd, 1969. I was in the United States Air Force at the time, um, flying combat support missions in Southeast Asia. Never thought I'd have the thing 44 years later. I've altered the suspension, but other than that, it's original, never been repainted. The interior's never been redone. It's all original. It's got its 44 years with the door dings, rock chips what have you, it's been used, um, still a fun car to drive. Uh, I'm enjoying it and it's great being up here at Lake Tahoe with all of the other people with, uh, with the old cars and enjoy old cars. Hi, I'm Jim Matthews from Redding, California. I'm here at uh, Hot August Nights Tahoe, having a good time. This is my 39 Chevy Coupe that my dad and I built. It took four years to build. And it was the last project that uh, he and I had before he passed away. He was 92 when we finished the car. The car is uh, all Corvette drivetrain, Mustang suspension, uh, air conditioning, all the comforts of home, and we drive it everywhere. I'm Jim Gonzalez from Castorelli, California. I've been building cars most of my life. Been more race cars than street cars. Um, this is the last one I'm going to build. I'm 70 years old now, and enjoy the cars. Um, this one was a 1940 Ford. Three years ago I purchased it and put it together. Did all the painting, all the building, and built the frame. And um, 
just did all the work on it, the upholstery included. Uh, had a great time doing it. The 40 Ford is going to be, in two years, 75 years old. So I thought we'd represent it with this plaque. It's gold. It represents 1940 Ford. Hi, my name is Ted. I'm with Happy Souls. And we have a cushy massaging insole. Can I have that insole, Mary? Very thin. Inside your shoe, that'll feel half an inch thick. There's that much cushion to them. They're filled with ions now. We've had these out for three months. It helps block the pain signal back to the brain. The glycerin works on the root cause. It massages and gives you a great arch support. So it massages that fascia tendon. So for plantar fasciitis, Wonderful product for that. Hi, I'm Dwight Mullins. I'm from Eureka, California. It's about 10 hours from here, up close to the Oregon border. And this is my 1968 Chevelle Convertible SS. Uh, it's hugger orange and uh, it's got a uh, big block in it, uh, Foz traction. Uh, it's, uh, it's about a five, six year old restoration, but it's been a good one. and. Uh, we really enjoy the Tahoe show. This is my fourth year, and uh, we come to Tahoe every year. Hi, I'm Fred Gallup. I'm from San Jose, California. Got a 1955 Chevy here, 210 Post. There's a 350 in it with a uh, six speed and a uh, 370 Posi rear end. Uh, I've done all the cosmetic and about half of the running gear. And we're happy to be up here at Hot August Nights. It's a lot of fun. Hi, I'm Steve. This is my 1966 Mustang GT. It uh, has 36,500 original miles on it. Uh, the way you see it is basically the way I got it. Um, I repainted the car. Uh, it's the only thing I've done to it. Uh, the original owner, I'm the second owner, the original owner was an L.A. Sheriff. And it, he took it to the jail every Saturday. And they ended up waxing all the corners off the paint and I was gonna use it as a survivor car, but I decided I couldn't stand driving it around that way, so I had it repainted. It's a, kind of a rare car. Uh, it's only 1% of the Mustangs came with the what they call the K-Code motor, which is the 271 horse solid lifter 289 motor. It's a four-speed, has a pony interior, and again, it has the GT package. Hi, I'm Ed Cosby here in South Lake Tahoe at the Hot August Nights. This car here is a 1949 Chevrolet Deluxe Coupe. Uh, it has a six cylinder in it, beefed up a little bit, three speed M20 transmission with an Impala rear end. So what have you done to this car so far? Uh, this morning I brushed it off. <laughs> uh, I haven't really done anything. I bought the car on uh, eBay. So the car came pretty much, I did put white walls on it. Cool. Hi, I'm David. Uh, this is a 1937 Chevy Touring model. It uh, runs a 350 engine. Um, it's a classic car. We're here in uh, South Lake Tahoe for the beginning of Hot August Nights. Uh, let's see, uh, it's been in my family for a while. My dad originally owned it, and now me, me and my brother take care of it. It's actually a Cadillac uh, rosewood color. Uh, it's all custom. Custom uh, everything, custom dash, custom rear end, custom engine. Um, it's uh, there you don't see very many 30 year model cars, so it's real special, um, and it's really fast. Hi, my name's Calvin Fisk. I'm from Benicia, California. I got a 53 Ford pickup, uh, four inch top top, 460 Ford motor in it, C6 tranny, Chevelle front end clip. Lincoln Continental seat, 67. Uh, 57 Ford station wagon rear end in it. Uh, 1976 Cadillac tilt column uh, steering in it. One piece window. And vintage uh, tailgate. And uh, we're enjoying the show here at Tahoe. Very pleasant. Jerry, Mary from Auburn, California. This is a 67 Chevelle SS 396. It's an original 396, 138 code car. I've uh, pretty much gone through the motor, drive, train, everything. It was painted when I got it. I've 
I've done pretty much everything else to it. It's been a lot of fun. I enjoy it a lot. Make a lot of these shows. Hello, my name is Anthony Henriotta. I'm, with, I'm the owner of Biochem. Our product that we use is a non-toxic biodegradable product that's safe for the environment, replaces most any cleaner in the house. It's a work in progress of 30 years. I've got 30 years in the business of blending products and the one that I've developed over the last 30 years has been able to remove most any stain from any fabric or surface. So I guess we're going to shoot, go to the, yeah. to the demonstration. How you use it on carpet is you take just the foam off the top, you work it in, it dries in five to 10 minutes and then you vacuum, there's no rinsing. Instead of buying products like these in the stores, over the years that we found that these products don't do much good for a lot of the heavier stains. You take a cleaner like this, it just smears the stain and embeds it deeper. They run you about four to five dollars a container. With our product, that's oil, grease, and paint on the rug. You take the foam off the top, work it in, it dries in five to ten minutes, and then back. Hi, my name is John. I'm from Sacramento, California. This is my fourth year up here with my 1959 Cadillac. It's a two-door. It's all original, uh, original paint, original interior. It drives real nice. Didn't look that way when I bought it. Got about 500 hours of polishing and waxing it out. But it's a real nice cruiser. It runs good. I'm really glad to be up here again this year. Wasn't that awesome? Now, stay tuned to Fabulous Lake Tahoe. There's going to be a lot of great stuff coming out this month on Fabulous Lake Tahoe. I'm going to be going to the Lake Tahoe Air Show later in the month. I'm also going to be covering the Tahoe Show Bodybuilding Competition. So, thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to Fabulous Lake Tahoe to see my later videos. Thank you, and keep Tahoe blue. Bye.